Welcome one, welcome all, once again, to Let's Play Quickly. Bet you're waiting. Saint Sword, made by Taito in 1991 for the Sega Genesis. Oh yeah, Saint Sword, baby. Don't I mean Sword Saint? Of course I don't mean it. Now for the plot. Blue Mountains. Long, long ago, before a man began recording history, the Earth was ruled by an evil wizard named Gorgam. Gorgam was extremely powerful and had the ability to awaken many forms of demons and bring forth the evil of the Black Universe. Against such dominance, humans were helpless, destined for a subservient existence. At the time, there was another race living in this troubled world. They were the Titans. The Titans were also very powerful wizards, but kept blaming to themselves. The humans sent their most lordly kings to discuss an alliance, and they basically said yes. Over the Titans and their magical powers, the humans kicked Gorgon's ass. The demons were driven back to the Black Universe, and a thousand years later, peace was still reigning. Of course, the Titans weren't super anymore because they've been abusing their powers and lost many of them. So, the skies blackened and Gorgon decided to kick some ass again. The humans weren't able to help, the Titans were crap. So, everyone was powerless except one Titan who had the unique ability to use great powers like his ancestors. So, the king decided to send him alone to. He was called Macress. They called him the Saint Sword. And they said, Go, Lone Titan! I'm only going to send you to save the world. What a crappy plot. Why only send one person? I'm not going to show you what the game's like. Let's go into the options. Want a few more players. But apart from that, nothing changes. This is a platformer with special mechanics. And kick-ass music. That is Macrass or the Saint Sword. We don't look very tightly. But the music rocks, and we should be in Europe, because I'm European. <laughs> Makes the game a bit slower. Cool music. You have the ability to transform, but at the moment we have no transformation ability and no magic. So we have to smash things with a sword, and they explode in purple energy. With that kick ass, those small blue orbs are mana. You use mana to cast spells. What spells? We don't have any yet. I'll show you when I have some. We'll just... There's one! That will transform us into a centaur. And I will show you how you do it. You press start, you press A, and I transform into a centaur. Now I'm super fast, I jump... Whoa! Forgot how high you jump. But you're an easier target, and you don't do as much damage. And you can kick backwards. This was a mistake. But there's some man. Hopefully I'm going to get the... There are two other transformations. One of them is transforming to bird man. The other one is transforming to fish man. Basically, you can turn into a centaur, fish, or the bird. I've just got a centaur and a bird power. As you complete levels, you get items that can be used to assist you. I hate the, the, this form. It's too big. The objective of this part of the game is to find the key to the exit, and then find the exit. I can't actually get to there. Can I transform back into me? Let's transform back into me. Please let me transform into me. Never mind. Ooh. Oh, that's my lightning sword. I trans I leveled up just then. When you gain 3,000 points, you level up and become more powerful. Like I just did. I do more damage with my attacks now. Yep. Oh! Life. Essential. So that's the exit, but I can't go in yet because I don't have the suitable power up. Like the king. The skeleton should be easier now that I actually have more power. And there's the key. Now I've actually got to get to the exit. Blumming annoying. Ah! Stupid goblins. They don't even know how to walk in this game. 
Honestly, the Titans are scared of these? No matter, I will slay Gorgon. This music's kick ass, don't you think? Power up! And no, unlike an altered beast, my clothes don't fall off when I power up. Now I attack twice every time I press the attack button. I have plenty of time, like three minutes to get to the exit. Yes, I can attack up, and yes, I can duck. Most enemies can't get me when I'm ducking. Let's go to the exit! Exit's here! How do we beat this boss? We're gonna have to show you another transformation. Here he is, and here is the best mode in the game, being the Birdman. You lose very little of your power, you gain the ability to freaking fly. You have to, to begin with, attack the top of this creature. Then you have to attack the bottom, but only when it's caught and not covering its face. No, that makes no sense to me either, but there we go. This is easy when you're the bird man. In fact, it's easy when you're not the bird man, but there we go. Oops, so I'm getting hit there. Embarrassed. And it's worn apart. And I win! Magic mirror. This mirror will help you find what you're looking for. What am I looking for? Alright, one moment.